Well, we're going to add like this uh, stage is done and dusted and of course uh, a lot of success for the team this week starting with again great performance by yourself and Angus grabbing that red jersey first stage. Oh uh, yeah, I think uh, Angus took a stranglehold of that on day one and uh, I think he sort of proved to us and himself more than anyone that uh, he has what it takes. Uh, I think uh, it's been a bit of a slow start to the year for a couple of us like, and uh, yeah, I think yeah, this is my first tour of the year and um, first UCRS of the year so it's it's good to sort of kick things off obviously not much racing in the legs but I think uh, the last couple of days my legs have started to come around which I'm, I'm pretty happy about after a disappointing genting but um, yeah I must say Angus has ridden an incredible race like he's been so aggressive in every move and the boys have really rallied together after I sort of fell by the wayside in GC I think we all sort of rallied around Angus and sort of salvaged what we could out of the tour and yeah I mean we have our oh, I think he's, he's, he's really stepped up and, and taken, like I said, taken a massive stranglehold of the race. You know, so many times you're the only South African on the start list, yeah. but this race not so much. Did yeah. you, have you had a ch chance to talk to any of your compatriots? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, Clint Hendricks and I are real, real tight mates. Um, we were on a team together two years ago. and. Uh, yeah, I know all the boys pretty well. Uh, Ruan Depoy okay, and Clint, we were both at Tour of Ethiopia together two years ago. Um, and yeah, I mean, I haven't been on the road very long, but I mean, I, I've known the guys for a couple of years now, so it's good to catch up and it's good to sort of see what's happening back home and chat to the boys about how the racing's going back there. Yeah,